Welcome to this demonstration from the EMC Solutions Group. This demonstration will show you how to eliminate single points of failure from an SAP deployment. Here we look at the challenges and what the solution does to mitigate these. At a high level, the storage is moved to enterprise class arrays. The backend database was converted from a single instance to a cluster. The application servers were virtualized to provide cluster protection of the SAP processes. Finally, VPlex was introduced to break the boundary of the data center. VPlex's unique Access Anywhere active active clustering allows read write access to the data at the same time at different locations. Here we see the journey to high availability and mission critical business continuance. At each layer of the solution, high availability is introduced. At the end of the journey, all single points of failure have been eliminated. The backend database is now an extended Oracle Rack database. The SAP application is protected using VMware vSphere clustering and cross cluster connect. VPlex enables active active clustering and VPlex witness configured at a third site provides continuous application availability even in the event of a data center failure. This shows the solution architecture, including both production sites and the third site where the VPlex witness was deployed. Here we see the network implementation. Brocade VDX switches were deployed at each site and MLX routers are used to extend layer 2 networking between the data centers. The SAN was built using Brocade DCX backbones. Here we see the ESX cluster with four nodes. These nodes contain the virtual machines for the SAP environment. The SAP services are spread across the cluster to provide high availability. Here we take an in-depth look at the layout of SAP. SUSE HAE protects the NQ and message servers built on two virtual machines. The VMs are protected using VMware HA. Here we now look at the rest of the setup. On the left you can see the VPlex cluster status. Both clusters are available. You can also see the cluster witnesses available. On the right hand screen you can see the four rack nodes, all of which are available. Now we see an SAP administrator log into the SAP IDES demo system running on this environment. The administrator creates some orders and checks the entry list. Here we can see the SAP SSC servers, both the master and slave are available. Now it's time to inject some failures into the system. Looking at the VPlex status, you will notice we have killed side A. Cluster 1 is reported as failed. Next we take a look at the rack nodes again, and here you see that nodes 1 and 2 on site A have been ejected. The database continues to run on the remaining rack nodes. We see here that the ESX servers on site A have also failed. We notice the virtual machines are now available on the site B ESX servers. The slave instance is now offline. The SAP administrator logs back in and continues operating as before.
Here you can see that the interruption to site A has now been resolved. Continue to observe the status of the rack nodes on the right hand screen. The fail nodes come back online without a reboot. At the same time, the virtual machines also come back as the ESX hosts are now back online. Finally, a bit of housekeeping. The administrator uses vMotion to migrate the virtual machines back to the original ESX server. SAP administration continues as before and the slave is now also online. Here we've listed a summary of the benefits of this solution. The complete white paper and technical presentation are available at the links shown here. Or simply Google everything SAP at EMC. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration.